Aloha, ohana, it's Evan K with another episode of Designing Tiki. Today I have this very special design project that was put together most recently at a very quick pace, kind of a last minute thing, is this kind of tiki box rum tasting kit. And you can see here, I designed the box to the specifications of the client, and some of them you may know them if you received this box, but it was a celebration, celebra celebratory box, and yeah, it was designed all the way around. You might have seen me post a couple of teaser shots of this. It's a full wraparound box of a kind of, it's, it's kind of weird, but this is the idea was it's, it's actually the interior of a tiki bar, right? And even here, you're actually looking in, but you're looking out into whatever, you know, you're escaping to. But the inside is what matters, right? So you're looking out into the end, what's inside. It's very weird, surreal in that way. Um, but I'm very happy with how this came out. This box itself is just really cool on the top. You have like a, just kind of a thatch roof. Um, but let's open it up and check it out. This box came out really nice. Um, this was all planned between myself and the client, as I like to say. Um, we kind of did uh, introductory cards, just to say like, you know, welcome to the rum tasting sort of thing. On the back is a checklist of what's inside. So you have a mug, uh, four tasting uh, rums, you know, four little vials of it, some chocolates to pair up with the actual rums, a straw, and a garnish, and you know, the uh, instructions for prep. So I know you notice all of these stick or these like kind of icons, you'll see them again inside the kit. So it's easy kind of just to, what's the word? Just to match it up and you see what exactly what it is. Uh, that's this card and then you have the cocktail because there's a cocktail that's specifically made to make with this kit not only the rum tasting but there's also a cocktail made of course it's made by marie king the bali highball has all the uh in not the ingredients well the ingredients and the recipe here as well and in the back it actually has a rum list and you see here again it's kind of keyed off i would say that color coded it's uh icon coded so you see these again and it explains what exactly each one is uh as well as like you know flavors, uh, what you expect when you're tasting it, smelling it, and it's also paired off with these little icons here you can kind of see, watch the glare, of the chocolates that you're going to see with, within the actual uh, kit. That's this. You get a lot of uh, batchy stuff. Well, I'm going to make a mess. That's a lot. I got some more of these extras here. Um, so you have the garnish, and of course you might have seen this one. It says dress it this is what you can use for your cocktail obviously not for the rum tasting but you got here some little accoutrement now i i basically just designed uh the details of all this stuff it was packaged together by them but uh the planning and everything like that was with me as well because i wanted to make this into something really special not only just a box of rums and stuff but something to make it tie it all together now these are the actual chocolates that i mentioned it says eat it and if you pop it open i think you can get this this is a little hard to get out. Here we go. By Ann Sons. Let me get that out of the way. And you notice these are the chocolates in here, which is correlates with the icons, you know, here, the square one. And there. So I went full on deep into making sure that no one would get confused. <laughs> on what is what and where goes what, you know, all that. Making sure that nobody eats the wrong thing or tries it the wrong, you know, at least they can see what it is. Uh, here we have the actual rums. Unfortunately, we had poly bags that were supposed to fit the bottles. And I'll show you an extra set right here, but you see here it says sip it. Um, but the bags didn't account for the top, I think, when we initially did that. And that's just part of planning, but like I said, we were lucky to get all this done in time uh, for all of this. So it's four tasting uh, shots, you can see, I think there's shots of two. There's some foam on the bottom, there's also a straw, suck it, and a very special souvenir that says fill it. I wonder what it is. Let me show you in a second, let me get this open. And once inside, it's our very own Tiki Diablo commemorative mug, a special custom mug specifically for this event. Uh, this is very cool custom barrel mug that we've not seen from Diablo at all. See the bottom right here, Diablo. Very cool. This was uh, coordinated with the client himself with Diablo. I just did the sticker for it, and just so you guys know what the actual vials or the bottles look like. These are. Let's turn it around. 
And as you recall, they are coated like this, so you'll know one of these is the Don Q Signature Release Single Barrel, and the other one is the Don Q Double H Sherry Cask Finish, which is pretty cool. I love this idea. It was really great when we were coming up with this, trying to figure out which bottles would fit. Obviously, they had different kinds. Some were just rounded, but we thought the square ones looked really nice. And not only that, it doesn't really matter with the stickers because they could wrap around, right? But the square ones really went well with this. And obviously, I went with a motif that kind of followed the barrel of the mug, knowing what it was going to be, and it kind of applied it to everything here. So everything basically has like these little circular rum, uh, the barrel tops the barrel caps, you know, and these are like the side of the barrels with the bands here, you know, these are all digitally done, first hand drawn and then done in Photoshop, and then of course, uh, I actually didn't use InDesign this time around, InDesign is obviously used for a lot of uh, printing stuff, printing materials, like all this stuff, um, I just did Photoshop, it was a lot easier for me and faster since I designed everything in Photoshop, I just did uh, the cut and bleed marks right then and there, and that was it, I mean, that's great, I mean, it's like I said, the box is really awesome, has all this cool wrap around I'd, I'd love this i love doing this it was really fun i've always wanted to put together something like this it's a very good idea for for an actual you know i guess kit that people would want to send out sometime someday um, but yeah this is it for the designing tiki episode of this i hope i didn't go all the way too long but i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, until next time <laughs>